So, making your favourites healthy. That's um, it's quite an interesting one because a lot of people think with this way of life or way of eating that they're going to need to suddenly change their diet radically and they're going to need to completely up and all of that. That's not the case. No, okay. absolutely not. So. No, you can, uh, you can make your cottage pie um, using lentils, carrots, onions, nice bit of stock, nice mashed potato on top. Very, very simple to change your favourite foods into so a that's yummy a cottage, dinner. So that's a cottage pie. It's so, a cottage pie. So, what would you, so, so, you're, so what's normally with going to cottage pie? Well, it would normally be minced beef. And so basically your lentils are going to be the protein and make it yummy. Yeah. yeah. So lasagna, the same. You can make a nice lasagna just layer the pasta with nice vegetables, courgettes, peppers, mushrooms, spinach, anything like that um, that you like. So I think it's a way you have to adapt what you like um, to make it tasty to you. So with something like the cottage pie that you talked about, yeah. um, beef for example has got quite a strong flavour. Mm. If you put lentils in there, lentils don't have a particularly strong flavour. How would you, how do you counter that so that people um, still enjoy it? Well, it's the stock and the vegetables that go into it. So the onions, garlic, carrots, celery, parsley, herbs, um, thyme, anything you like to flavour it mm. will help and make it more palatable yeah. and, and delicious as well. Yeah. So, it works. So cottage pie, that'd be one example. Lasagna, mm. how, how, what, how would you make that healthy? Because lasagna is traditionally very unhealthy in the sense that yeah. actually you've got a lot of beef, you've got a lot of cheese, so you've got a lot of fat in there as well. Mm. Well, you're making um, a much lighter version of it. Yeah. Um, you can roast your vegetables first and then put them in. So roasting a vegetable certainly brings out a lot more of the flavour. Yeah. keeps the flavour in the vegetables. So for example, if you were to roast some aubergines roast some courgettes, roast some onions, um, um, I was going to say onions, garlic, anything that you like you can put into it. Yeah, that makes sense. And what other sort of, what other favourites would people want do you think? Um, um, well, pasta is another one. Isn't yeah, it? so pasta, so, so pasta for example, I suppose you'd look at a tomato based sauce rather than a cream based sauce mm. would be yeah. a sim would Absolutely. be one simple way yeah. that you can yeah. make something more yeah. healthy. Yeah. What about if somebody wanted a, a cream based, like a carbonara style sauce? Then how I, would you get around that sort um, of thing? I use the um, soy, soy cream for that. Yeah. So I make a stock and then I add the soy cream into it. And then of course you've got the, um, what is it's the yeast? Nutritional yeast. Nutritional ye yeast. You can add that into us. A sauce so and then if you want to for example also if you wanted to make a sauce to go over the top of the lasagna you could do it that way yeah. by using some corn flour to thicken the stock add the cream and it does give you a topping and how would you make the stock how would you match I w well I use a um, use you to stock you just use yeah. it yeah. yeah yeah so you don't have to making everything from scratch no you, 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 don't, no. you don't have to at all so yeah. I don't need no, to I use a lot of stock cubes yeah yeah I think that's an important mm. point on there because a lot of people they get very bogged down in cooking everything from scratch but actually you don't need to focus on changing the things that are going to make the biggest amount of difference mm. yeah. so the beef to the lentils for example yeah that sort of thing yeah um, yeah that this type of yeah sort of the, the meat to the vegetables but stick to the things you like yeah um yeah what other thing i just think what other things people would, would enjoy tend well, to enjoy i mean sandwiches for example um, very often people have cheese sandwiches. What what might you have instead? Oh gosh, well I'd put tuna into a sandwich which is not vegetarian or not no. vegan, so I'm not very good at answering that one. Well no, that's okay. I mean, um, it, it's okay. I mean, I, I, it, it, it's encouraged that people will move plant-based, yeah. but, um, so, but it's, not, it's not something that they have to do. No. But it, so no. if it was a tuna sandwich you're making for yourself, Mm. How would you make that? So, for example, if you went into Sainsbury's or, uh, you know, or Waitrose or wherever, and you buy a tuna mayonnaise sandwich, yeah. you, all you're getting is two slices of white bread mm. and tuna mayonnaise, with meaning that you're actually getting mayonnaise with a bit of tuna inside it. Yeah. 
if you were to make that yourself, how would you do it? Well, I wouldn't use the mayonnaise. If I was going to use mayonnaise, I'd probably try. There's a new vegan mayonnaise out. They have this Hellman's one they've, mm. they've got, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably try that. But otherwise, it's just to squeeze a lemon and some cucumber on it. DG salad as well. And yeah, uh, oh yeah, there. salad, tomatoes and stuff in it. And all that give bulks out a sandwich and makes it much more tasty. Yeah, but it's about bulking out mm. and which fills mm. you up, which is, yeah, yeah. so that's, yeah. I think that's an important point on there as well. Yeah. Um, and snacks is something that people come up and they often ask you about snacks. They say, well, what do you eat when you're hungry during the day? And I uh, chop up fruit. I do chop up fruits. I chop up melon and I chop up apples and I put them in a bowl in the fridge when I'm not hungry. And it is amazing if you suddenly think, I'm starving, I just need to eat anything, and the fruit is there in the fridge, then you will pick at it and you will enjoy it. Also, I often cook um, broccoli spears and too much the night before. And if I'm really starving, there's nothing nicer than picking out a spear of broccoli and just eating it. So, and also, my uh, probably my downfall is I love a couple of peanuts or something. But still keeping it vegetable based, plant based. Yeah. Um, and it's not biscuits, it's not cakes. So it's either a vegetable or a nut or something. That does satiate you. You feel better, you feel you've got something inside you, and you can wait until you're going to cook your dinner or your dinner's ready. So I think it's not even considering a piece of cake. If it's not in the house, you can't eat it. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's re retraining your brain to think mm. fruit and vegetables are what I'm going to snack on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you know, carrot bands, for example, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And then breakfast, for example, a lot of people just go and buy us off-the-shelf granola stuff. Yeah. Um, what what do you, you, you've got a way that you've made your granola as such a lot more healthy. What do, what, what do you do there? Oh, well, so, I mix all sorts of things into it. So um, I might start with a base of a muesli and then I might add in just bran flakes to it. I might add in um, sunflower seeds, um, almonds, hazelnuts. You put a pile of oats in as well. And I you? also, I put probably half a bag of porridge oats into so it. So actually, well. most of it's actually oats yeah, then, really. Yeah, so it really, is. actually, mm. most of it's oats. Because mm. a lot of people say, I don't eat porridge every day for breakfast, it's boring. Yeah, but it's not if you've mixed all sorts of other things into it. So you get a crunch of a nut, you get a crunch of some bran flakes you get the nice creaminess that the porridge oats do with the plant milk yeah and then i always put strawberries or raspberries blueberries on top of it and actually it's a really interesting breakfast as opposed to yeah a plain bowl of yeah you know so that gives yeah it gives quite a good overview then so there's a couple of dinners mm. there that sort of covered there in terms of making it more healthy mm. um the breakfast there it's making a, a, something more healthy the bacon and eggs you never you, you can't make it healthy it's as no, simple as that no. there, there is no, no. there's no if way you are that. starving and you want something really heavy and nutritious i tend to do i will put some mushrooms in the oven with a bit of garlic and pepper and salt and i'll roast those in the oven for 20 minutes or so open a tin of baked beans and then put the mushrooms on some toast, some baked beans, and maybe I've put some tomatoes in with the mushrooms. And that really does mm. does the job of a cooked breakfast. Yeah, yeah, because it's a hot food. It's hot food, it's baked beans are nourishing, the mushrooms are meaty, tomatoes are tasty. Um, and yeah, that, that's what I do if I'm really yeah, hungry. Yeah, so it's still giving you know. that cooked breakfast yeah. feel, yeah. but without the bacon, eggs, the sausages, yeah. and whatever yeah. that would rubbish. It's still a cooked cook. breakfast. Exactly, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, there's a sensible option for a cooked breakfast there as yeah. well. That, yeah. that, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of there's any other sort of favourites that I've been asked about um, over the years. There really, there really aren't. Um, where would you tend to go for your recipes as such? What would you tend to do? Because you tend to make a lot up, but where would you I tend to... I do make most of them up. Um, mm. I think it's just reading, reading online, looking at various websites that send me recipes. Um, supermarkets now all do recipes that they send to you online, and it is just, just reading and watching out for things that appeal to you. Yeah. Because if it doesn't appeal to you, you're not going to enjoy it, and you're not going to stick to it. But if it's something you you read and you see and you think, oh, that looks really nice, lemon, pine nuts, spinach, you know, whatever your taste is, then just go for that. 
if they're in the newspaper or magazine, chop them out, keep them, you know, mm. and then you'll make them. And that's what I've said to people because people have always said to me for years, they said, can you send me a meal plan? Yeah. And I, and I, said, I said, no, because you're not going to like half the stuff on there. Exactly. Um, if you look at any diet plan that they do in the newspaper, and I've looked at them, and um, I thought, well, I don't like that, don't like that, and I don't like that. So how could I stick to that diet? Because there's nothing on there I like. So it's got to be, it's got to come from you, because you know what you like, you know what you enjoy, and you know what's going to make you feel satisfied having eaten it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you, you need to think hard about what you really like. And even if you, you don't know what to do, even put it into a Google search. Put spinach and pine nuts in and recipe and up comes some recipes with it. Mm. And then if they've got lots of cream and butter and cheese in them, then just substitute. Use some soil cream in it, use some lemon juice in it, whatever. You just, yeah. just change it to suit the way you are now yeah. eating. Yeah, so it's not drastic changes here at all, no. actually, in many no. cases, it's quite no. simple changes. No. No, that makes sense. And, and that's what proves it's not a diet, you know. It's yeah. eating differently as opposed to dieting. Mm. Which is, hence the name, intelligent yeah. eating. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think that sums it up sensibly, is in if making your favourites healthy, think about what your favourites actually are, mm. uh, what you actually do enjoy eating, and then mm. do as we just discussed. Yeah. If you like crispy roast baked potatoes, then do your baked potatoes and put on top whatever you love. You know, whatever you really enjoy, cook it mm. and you'll stick to it. Yeah, and that's mm. the important bit, mm. making it sustainable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good.